Hello everyone, welcome to Productivity Central where we build real world use case solutions and we have an entire playlist for that. Please do check it out. Every company has data. All they need is a good business analytical tool which can help them visualize the data. Power BI is one of the best data analytical tools currently in the industry and I will be showing you how you can use your data set and build beautiful charts such as this one in such an easy manner and power bi has a built-in ai feature that helps you build charts in such less time all right without wasting any time let's get started step number one we need the data set and microsoft has provided the free data set on their website i will put the link in the description below so that you can download the data set directly from their website once you have your data set downloaded all you need to do is just click on get data click on excel workbook and select your excel file and click on load once your file is loaded onto power bi you will see these two sections fields and visualizations under fields you will see all the columns that you have and the symbol icons are the number data types and we will be building the charts based upon these fields all right let's get started the first thing that you need to do is just double click anywhere on the chart you will get this option over here. In this, just type sales by country. So over here, we will be comparing the sales by country, by date, by product, and by segment. Once you type this, it will automatically give you a chart. What we want is a pie chart. So we will type in pie and just select this option. Now let's arrange the chart. Let's stretch and just click on this so that it loads the chart for you all right let's put it right over here and let's create another chart now just double click anywhere on the screen and now what we want to do is we want the sales by segment and this time instead of a pie chart we will use the funnel chart so just type sales by segment in funnel and select this and you will get your funnel chart it's so simple guys now just click this icon and you will get your funnel chart let's create another chart and this time we will create a chart based on the sales by the product and so just type sales by product and this time we will create a donut chart so just select this and press this icon and it has turned this into a visual for us so this is a pie chart this is a donut chart and this is a funnel chart now let's create one more chart and this time let's create a line chart in the next one we want to visualize the data where we are comparing the sales by month so just type sales by month in line and just select this it will automatically give you a line chart now let's just arrange these charts accordingly so that they are properly aligned to each other all right perfect now what we want to do is we want to have some specific numbers like what for the sales what were the profits uh, for the company so just double click anywhere and just type sales by profit and press enter and you will get your exact numbers just click on this icon so that it turns it into a visual and just align this chart accordingly with your dashboard now let's create one last chart and this time uh, let's find the gross sales by the number of units sold and just type that and it will automatically give you that just turn this into a visual and align the chart accordingly all right perfect so now we have created our charts in the next step we will start customizing this chart so just select the first chart which is sales by country and over here we will work in the visualization section this is where we will be customizing our chart so just select the second option over here now what we want to do is we want to change the background of this to a different color so just click on background now we have white in color i would like this blue all right once you have done that just select all the other charts one by one and let's change the background color 
So you have selected the second chart. Just go to background, change the color from white to blue. Let's select the third chart. Let's change the background to the specific color. Let's do the same for the fourth chart over here for us. Let's change it to blue and let's do the same thing for the above two charts as well. All right, perfect. So once you have done that, now what we want to do is we want to change the color of the text in the dashboards from this color to white. So let's select the first chart. Now, just click on title and change this color to white and align it in the middle and next let's click on legend let's change the color to white let's click on detail labels let's change the color to white all right perfect so this chart is ready now let's do the same thing for the remaining charts so let's select the second chart let's change under the data labels let's change the color to white let's change the category color to white and let's change the title to white and let's align it in the middle all right perfect now let's do the same thing for the remaining four charts so for the third one I'm gonna go to legend and I'm gonna change the color to white and same thing for data labels same thing for title and I'm gonna align it in the middle and let's do the same thing for the fourth one all right, now let's change the color for the remaining two uh, charts over here. So let's click on category. Let's change the color to white. Perfect. And select data labels. Let's change the color to white. Let's do the same thing over here. So data labels has been changed and the category color has been changed. All right, perfect. Now over here, if you want to remove this from the card, so just select card and show bar just turn it off and same thing just select the next chart and the show bar just turn it off all right perfect now what we want to do is we want to customize the borders of every chart so let's select the first chart let's go to border let's turn it on let's change the color from black i'm gonna select the blue color and i'm gonna increase the radius to the max which is 30 and in the same way I'm gonna be turning on the shadow and I will change this color from black I'm gonna change it to blue all right perfect so now if we click anywhere in the middle now our chart looks very clean and let's do the same process for all the remaining charts so I'm, I'm selecting the second one I'll just turn on the border and the shadow Click on border, change the color from black to blue in my case and increase the radius by full and do the same thing for the shadow, change the color from black to blue. All right, perfect. So let me do the same process for these two charts quickly. All right, perfect. So I have changed the borders and the radius and the shadow of these two charts so i'll change the same thing for the above charts as well so i'm going to select the first one and i'm going to turn on the border and the shadow and the change the color to blue increase the radius go to shadow and change the color to blue and same process for the next one so turn on the border turn on the shadow change the color and increase the radius and same thing under the shadow just change the color to blue all right perfect so our chart is ready now let's just align it accordingly so that it looks clean all right perfect so our chart is ready and the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on the labels over here so i'm going to select the last chart and go over here and under data labels i'm going to turn it on so that we see the numbers and I'm going to change the color from this to white so that we see the exact sales number by month. All right, guys. Perfect. So I hope you guys found value in this video. It's very simple to create the charts. 
If you found value in this video, please hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notifications icon for instant notifications whenever I post these kind of helpful videos in the future. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please do mention in the comment section guys. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.